If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the latest updates. Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the concept of partial fraction decomposition or partial fraction expansion or you can say how you can resolve the partial fractions. There are multiple names that are used for the same method in different places. So, before understanding the um, understanding the uh, method, how you can uh, how you can do the partial fraction decomposition or partial fraction expansion, you must have the knowledge about what is what are partial fractions and what is meant by partial fraction decomposition or expansion. Okay. So let's say you have three sets of fraction. What are those sets? Let's see. 1 over x minus 1 and 2 over x minus 1 and 3 over x. So these are the three fractions. These are the three fractions. So if we find a one fraction that is made out of these three fractions, we can do what? We can find their sum. We can find sum of these three fractions. And how we can find their sum? By taking the LCM. Okay. So by taking LCM, you can find the sum of these three fractions. Okay. So what you will get? After finding the LCM, you will get a single fraction that is made up of these three fractions. So this single fraction is also known as a resultant fraction. It's obvious that in order to find a single fraction out of these three uh, fractions, it becomes it is easier by taking the LCM and by, by finding the sum. But what if I want to convert this single fraction into these three fractions of which it is made? Then which what method should be used in order to get these individual fractions as from this single resultant fraction? So here comes the idea of partial fraction decomposition. So we can say that in order to we can say that in order to convert this single fraction into the individual fractions, we have to use the method of partial fraction decomposition or partial fraction expansion. As its name indicates that we are decomposing a single fraction into the multiple fractions. Okay, so it is. Uh, so, it, it's a complete method of decomposition that we will, we will discuss in our next lecture. But currently, you should know the concept of partial fraction decomposition. So, you can also say that we are breaking a single fraction with polynomials in, in them. So, we have to use a partial fraction decomposition method. So, our, from this single fraction, we, we uh, get the fractions that are actually the partial fractions. So we can call we can call these fractions as the partial fractions as we have got them after decomposition of our resultant fraction. So this is this is basically the uh, the basic concept of partial fraction decomposition. Further, it can also you can also have its clear concept if I take the example as if you have the fractions as two over x plus one plus three divided by x plus 2. These are the individual fractions. Now, I want to find their sum or a single fraction out of them. I can take the simple LCM as x plus 1 and x plus 2. The LCM and then I can write as 2 into x plus 2 plus 3 into x plus 1. So, this is the LCM and by solving it, I will get a single fraction. So, you can say that this is a single fraction that is made up of these two fractions. So, I will write here as the single fraction or the resultant fraction as we have already seen. And these are the basically the partial fractions. These are the partial fractions that we got after decomposition of the single fraction. So, we have to use a method that is decomposition or expansion, decomposition or expansion method in order to get the individual or the partial fractions that are basically the simpler fractions as compared to the single fraction that we have made after adding. Okay, So, this was a simple method of uh, in which we have taken the LCM and uh, there, uh, there, it, it's, a general, it's, a, it's a method that was already known 
but there was no no other method that can be used in order to decompose de decompose the resultant fraction so a method that was devised for decomposition that is called a partial fraction decomposition or a partial fraction uh, expansion in order to get these partial fractions so these are basically the partial fractions so this is the concept of partial fraction decomposition and expansion in our previous, in our next lecture we will see how you can decompose decompose a single or a resultant fraction into its partial fractions thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you